Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a very traditional French recipe that I love, 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 love. It's called Gâteau Basque. It is coming from the Pays Basque, which is the country Basque in f English. I don't know if that even rings a bell to you, but I'm just going to add a map on there just so that you can see where it is in France. It is in the south and it's one of the most beautiful regions of France. And this cake is delicious. It is a cross between a cake and a pie and it's filled with custard. You are going to love this recipe, so let's start with the dough. All right, so for our dough, it's going to be a cross between a cake and a pastry dough, actually, since there's a lot of flour, but there's a lot of eggs as well. And I'm going to start off by creaming together my room temperature butter with some sugar and vanilla extract until I have a very nice combined consistency. Amazing, now we are going to add our eggs and I'm using a lot in this recipe, two large eggs and five egg yolks, I know, but it really gives you the proper ghetto basque taste. Amazing, now I have a great consistency, so I'm going to add my dry ingredients and in this recipe I'm using some all-purpose flour, of course. Then I'm going to mix with some baking powder and salt just to make sure that everything tastes perfect. And then I'm going to introduce that in my wet ingredients with my spatula and mix until I have the perfect consistency. Great, my dough is looking fabulous, so now it is time to let it rest in the fridge for about three to four hours. Overnight is even better, just to make sure that everything rests and in the meantime, we can make the custard. Time for the custard and it's going to be a pretty basic vanilla custard in this recipe. I'm going to start off by using some very simple whole milk that I'm going to put on my stove and heat until it almost reaches the bubble. Great, now we are going to use egg yolks, of course, and I'm just going to mix them up together with some white sugar, and then I will add the starch. I'm using in this recipe a combination of cornstarch and flour. This will make sure that our custard is very thick, but with a nice consistency as well on the palate, and not too floury. Amazing, it is time to add the hot milk and I'm going to temper my eggs, which means pretty much that I'm going to add a ladle of milk into my eggs, mix that well, and then add gradually my milk just to make sure that I don't have any scrambled eggs. Perfect, now we are going to put our mixture back in the sauce pot and back on the stove and let it cook once again on a very low heat whisking constantly to make sure that everything is smooth and you are going to let it cook until bubbles appear that means that it will set properly now that i have the perfect thickness i'm going to pass it through a sieve just to make sure that it's pretty smooth Time for a bit of richness. I'm going to add some butter as well as some vanilla extract for the flavor, of course. And then we can cover it up with a plastic wrap and let it set completely at room temperature for like an hour and then in the fridge for at least two or three hours or until it is completely set. Our custard is ready and our dough has chilled as well, so it is time to roll out our dough. I'm just going to roll it out on a floured surface and on parchment paper. It's always easier to unmold it and put it in our cake pan. And I'm just going to roll it out using my trusty little glass here since I didn't have any rolling pin, but anything works really. Now I'm going to put my dough in the bottom of my cake pan. As you can see, I'm using a very simple cheesecake cake pan and I'm going to get rid of the extra dough as well as the flour with a brush. 
and then I'm going to add some jam. I'm using today some blueberry jam, but it's very traditional to use actually some cherry jam. So if you have it, please use it. It's amazing. Time for the custard. And as you can see, it's looking super thick and perfect. I'm going to spread it around across my cake pan and then we are going to cover it up with the remaining dough. I am using a bit of water just to make sure that everything is sealed and tight completely and then I'm just going to get rid of the extra dough. Almost the last step, we are going to decorate our dough and I'm just going to use a fork to decorate the top of my cake. And then we are going to brush the top of the cake with an egg wash, which is basically an egg plus a bit of water, just to make sure that everything turns out golden brown and then we'll bake the cake. Time to bake our beautiful gâteau basque in our preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius. That's 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's really nice and golden brown. As you will see, it will start to crack, but not too much. And it is a pretty thick cake, so make sure that you cook it well. And then we are going to let it rest completely at room temperature. very thick and filled with creamy custard. It is amazing. I really love this recipe and I'm sure you will love it too. And if I have one recommendation is that it is actually better the next day if you let it set in the fridge overnight. It will make it even more moist. It's amazing. You can find the entire list of ingredients in the description box down below. So just write them there as well as my social media, so Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see other French recipes in this YouTube channel, please tell me in the comments and I will see you very soon for another amazing recipe. Bye!